Welcome back. A Randolph County man has done something pretty uncommon, authored a book. It's called The Adventures of a Common Man and tells the tale of a small town man who experiences some out of the ordinary moments. Ed DeRoos is here now to talk more about the story. Ed, thanks for being with us this morning. morning. Tell me a little bit about The Adventures of a Common Man. The uh, Adventures of a Common Man is just about a guy by the name of Pete Rusi. He's just kind of muddling through life, raising a family, uh, working several jobs, just getting through life. About, takes about 40 years. The book covers 40 years of experiences, adventures. And you uh, are from Sparta, uh, yes, have from lived Sparta. there all your life. Mm -hmm. Tell me what inspired you to write this book. Well, like a lot of people, I, you know, people have ideas that they want to write a book. I just decided I was going to do it. Something I, I teach in a correctional facility, GED, and something had happened in my classroom, and I told the story and wrote it down, and then I just couldn't stop. It just came out. What kind of adventures does Gary experience through the 40 years that the book covers? Well, as I said, he's uh, gone through several different careers, uh, raised his family. One of the neat things about this is uh, there are experiences in here, adventures in here, I think that anybody can, can relate to uh, raising his family. I tell birthing three children from a man's perspective, uh, going through the military, going through, uh, he was actually a professional a district executive in this area, the, the character. And so there's some scouting ex stories. Um, there's some stories that, hap that relate to his current profession. So, uh, and. Did you incorporate this, Southern Illinois in, into the stories well, as well? It, the uh, book starts at, in a small town in Southern Illinois at age 18, and then goes up to current age uh, about 40 years later. And he, this character has traveled has had 30, 40 different mailing addresses. So that in itself is a lot of adventures. So that's, and all that stuff is incorporated. Uh, there's a trip to Madrid, there's a uh, trip to uh, Arizona, and there's Fort Leonard Wood. Uh, uh, Fort Leonard, I said Fort Leonard Wood. <laughs> that's San okay. Antonio, so all those places. Are, is there a little bit of you in this character, do you think? Well, when I originally did it, I. I always had the intent to write an autobiography, but I'm not anyone that anybody would know, so I figured that wasn't going to work. So it's loosely based on things that I've done. So I used myself, I guess, to, uh, to draw on the adventures and, and what I wrote. And you have several book signings coming up, including one uh, close to our area in DuCoin. I have one in DuCoin, yes. Uh, I think it's the uh, 9th of March. Uh, I have one in Redbud. I am going to have one in uh, Mount Vernon, that's also close. I have one tentatively, tentatively scheduled in Carbondale. And my, uh, not, that's gonna be at Barnes & Noble. I, my book is uh, one of the things that really kind of surprised me. Uh, this is the first book I've ever written. Anything, first thing I've ever done. Uh, and I always thought that, you know, when you submit to be published, mm -hmm. it wasn't gonna happen. It was gonna take 10, 12, 100 times before somebody would talk, even talk to you. First one, I submitted to two publishers, and they both accepted. Wow. So. Another uncommon feat for the uh, common man, huh? I, I guess so, yeah. <laughs> All righty. Author Ed uh, DeRoos, uh, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Well, and thanks for having me. We'll have me. the information on the adventures of an uncommon man on our website, wsiltv.com.